you know where you're at. You're back here for the back nine because you want to watch me and Jake rip some more shots and we want to watch Jake rip some nice rollers. There he is, right there, focus. Yeah, give Jake the focus because this guy's a freaking disc golf star. Go support him. Description below will have his tour series as well as mine. Uh, let's check out this back nine here at Swenson Park. OTB opens here, one of our favorite events of the week. Let's go. Heck yeah. Of the year, not the week, whoops. Hole 10 is going to be one of those signature holes out here. Water on the left as well as wrapping to the back side of this one. You don't have too much room to the left side of the basket, maybe 20 feet and maybe only like 15 or less feet long. So really want to get this one right up to the basket, but don't go deep. A lot of players will go slower discs, hit it really hard to avoid the fade. I'm going to go Pokeball Wrangler, try to hit it at that darker tree on the right, get it to just slither fade in front of it. This one's 435. A little low, but I kept the fade away, and that's really the name of the game on this hole. I'm gonna go with the new Houston. I think it's perfect for this hole. Jake smacking over on the Houston, giving it enough height to come back. Ooh, oh. Rude roll off, y'all. He went from 40 Are to you 80, kidding 40 me? 40 to 80 off the slow roll. That was going to be freaking inside the circle. Oh, that was solid. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I think I'm going to try out the yellow rose for this shot. What's up, Rob? Where's your yellow rose? Are you using, if you're not, oh. Same shot. If you're shot. not using the other D2 as well, I'll take it for a practice. <laughs> Carter, okay. Because right. have any. Yeah, perfect. Which one? The, the other one I gave him. The, uh, the you got, you got the camera going for this? All right, what's Rob got? Yellow Rose. Bravo, yellow Rose. Here we go. Oh, it's perfect. Ooh. All he, right, I guess I got to go Yellow Rose. Yellow Rose off. Identical to mine. Power grip? You went Power Grip on that? All right, I also got the ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't Tan, the your Yellow too. Rose. No. <laughs> Yes. Oh it's such a good disc. I'm throwing it so hard. Oh, I just did. It's like I've been yanked it. Thank you for the height. Week and it's still just like I'm just smoking. So it good. Yeah, it's amazing. They go so far. Yeah, you can see Robert and Jake's yellow roses kissing each other in the circle. Pretty sweet. I didn't get mine the height, but it was coming back. Here we got Jake. Long putt. Awful roll away. He hit this tree inside the circle. Rolled out to outside C2. Oh. Caught the wheel. Oh, the basket. Tried to give it a run, guys, I promise. Myself, on the other hand, I kind of have this death putt with the water right here behind the camera. Me and Robert putting the yellow rose on top of each other. So cute. We're a besties. Bouquet of flowers. We're besties. Told me to put it on top. All right, mine got to the ground low and early. Oh, I got defense. Try to give it a safe bid. I got Jake playing defense. <gasps> oh, what a run. That yellow rose holds a little easier than the penny for those long cuts, or than the blue bonnet, I should say. The penny holds easier than it. Let's go. Hole 11, 834. If you haven't seen Bradley Williams' Instagram video, that's the way you play it. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. And the one really nice thing about California is the wind is always out of the same direction, so you can always count on having a big tailwind on this hole. What was the Brad thing I missed? He just put it way out to the right, and then just like. <laughs> What'd you throw there? What, bud? Or bird. I'm going to the bayonet. Definitely left to right wind here. 
And like Jack said, it kind of it kind of switches off left to right. And what's my name? Tail. Huh? What's my name? Jack. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna hit high, flat, and hard on this Alpha Bandit. Like Jack said. No! Get over it. Yes! <laughs> money. Easy money, y'all. All day. Easy out of the hand, but it All day. It Gotta give those guys a shout what's out. Your what's your name, bro? I know Ian, what's your name? Scott. Scott? Hey, y'all, we got Scott and Ian out here killing it, returning everyone's discs, grinding it out for us, and they literally return it same day, next day, almost every time. This Seguin I just threw in earlier, guess what, I get it back now, and I'm gonna throw it on a risky line over the water into the green here. So let's hope it stays with us. But if it than, goes in, you know those guys are gonna find it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to flex it high up over the water, get the fade back, just cause that low ceiling is really blocking everything up the gut. Didn't turn it, but I have the height to hopefully get through, through the branches. Oh my God. Just Miracle shot, let's go. <laughs> Jake is in an A1 position, far enough up to where he can play the little hyzer over the water. I'm gonna throw the tube camera, and it's gonna be good. <laughs> he called it. Yellow rose from about a buck six, a buck 20. Got it chipping in there. Go in. A little high and right, or left, I should say. But we got a par putt. Why are they watering the tee pads like that? Because they want that grass to solidify in two days, Jake. <laughs> well, what? It's just making the tee pad super slick. <sighs> Luckily, in my so opinion, out here in my opinion. Yeah, if they don't do it like the day before, then it should dry out pretty quick. But yeah. Yeah, it's probably like the lady is in the morning. That's how you make a birdie on that hole. Great drive from Jake. Thank you, thank you. Can definitely make that hole a lot easier with just an extra few hundred, or maybe not even a few hundred, like extra 60 or 70. Yeah, it makes that that second gap you had available, and that makes a huge difference on the, the approach. I don't know, I'm hard to please. Hard to please. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hole 12 is par three, 328. Another water carry here, and I love that they replanted the palm tree that used to stand tall there on the left side of the green. Eventually, it'll be back in play. We have an island here, not much bigger than C1, so you gotta be accurate. Headwind is the prevailing wind on this one. And I'm going to that OTB, <laughs> OTB Charlie Spur after I cloud out Jake <laughs> with my chump chalk bag. <laughs> Apparently, whenever you hit the chalk, it goes, flies to wherever the nearest chump is. So yeah. <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> but, but last year, they were using it. You know, they, I go, how come they're chalking their hands so much? Because they're looking at the way that the dust is going. Yeah, yeah I use it. it as a wind wind direction. Yeah, yeah. It's a good way to do that without ripping the grass out. Yeah. All right. It's a little Has too Has a chance. Left. But look at that little ramp off the inside slope. <laughs> Let's go. That was all planned, huh? All planned. Yeah. Every single bit of it. Yeah. Starship sidearm. Keep it simple. Yeah, code Clover 20 never fails. How many more times do I need to tell you? Great height on Jake's forehand here. Lifting in that California thermal. Yeah. Lawn darts is Gavin Babcock would say. Tailwind left and right. Sea edge. Yeah. This basket is leaning a little bit this way. Okay, awesome. Sweet, thank you. Look at that. I mentioned the basket's leaning. They're already out here to fix it. We love it, y'all. Yeah. 
Just gotta aim towards the lean. Yeah. Andrew's always on it, y'all. Before you can even say it, he Thank you guys. An issue. Hole 13, 378 feet, and we got ourselves a good old shank and flex. And then I went out to the right on shank angle and let it flex back. Easy birdie. I've been going back and forth between that line and the forehand, and Jake might have just sold me. Come on. Oh my God. Mm. That was a spur there, or was that? That spur, yes. You know what? I think I like that line Jake's throwing because the next two holes I'm electing for the skinny right side hyzer anyway. Shank and flex. So, <laughs> Shank and flex part one here. Might as well get <laughs> dialed. We got two, like two more parts you know, ahead of us. Spur as well here. Bust out old slow poke. Oh no, that's not stable enough. Any like twice the height, but that's open put over there. I'm gonna try one more with the tombstone. Get a little more flexy with it. Nah, that one was early out of the hand. We'll take the long open putt from the spurter. Which one's your super stable Seguin? Throw this one. Okay. Beefy Seguin. Recommendation of Mr. Jake. Cause then you can just throw as much angle as you want and not worry. True. Look at that, y'all. Nice shot. Yeah, I'm taking it. Purple Seguin, Jake, Jake knows. <laughs> That's why I practice with Jake. You know, this oak tree on the green on the left, one of the prettiest trees on what the What a property. cool freaking green. Such a sick green. I pulled that. You know, Jake oh. recommended Seguin, so I'm gonna take it. Tough slip out there on the left side. Oh, oh. Rushed it. This don't lie, this don't lie. <laughs> Say, you'll get the birdie tomorrow, but you're gonna have to throw it on your first shot, buddy. Shank and flex part two. Yeah. Okay, hole 14. If you're gonna throw that flexing right side backhand, you're gonna probably wanna do it again on this hole. Also sets up for that massive forehand, although it plays pretty long. I'm gonna take Starship, punch it through this gap here on the right. Try to get a big flare skip. Too high, I'm gonna need some luck through the canopy. Can I get it? No. Nope. Mm. That was the line in terms of the shape though. Get an angle. Oh, Jake oh, got the root to that same Hit tree. the last root. So close. Oh, one more. Dude, hit the same route. Identical. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the tree to beat once you get yep. to the gap. The one we caught there, the leaner. Once you get you past beat, that one, you got to putt. Yeah, you beat that. You don't skip your circle two 40 footer. You beat it, you might be parked. A little one finger sidearm. I like to go one finger from this distance. I feel like I left my penny putter on this hole yesterday. Jake just How did I miss over it? the cage. How did that not touch a chain? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's barely ahead of him here. I'm gonna try to sling a little hip shot. No! Oh boy! <laughs> I heard so bad, y'all. 
Connor just messed up on that upshot a little bit. All right. You're going to want to get those up and down during the tournament. Let's knock this one down. Hey -oh. He succeeded in getting up and down. Can I call you Rose? I left myself a little long on this par putt. I'm not too happy about it. It's pretty windy. I'm not liking it. I don't like it at all. But we're gonna make it anyways. He probably had some good shit to say too. Sometimes you just gotta talk yourself into it. Ah. Hole 15, 347, third shank and flex in a row. Throw it out to the right, get it to skip off the green. This is kind of a bonus birdie a little bit. Sit. Not good, guys. Right, I'm gonna play a little bit more right of that. Playing with my spur. Trying to get a little turn out of the hand. Get the skip off that shortcut of the golf green. Oh, I also missed it inside. I might have, I got kind of lucky stayed up top because I yep. was so soft, but gotta commit more. No! Why is it so hard to commit? I think I need to switch to the Charlie Spur. A little more integrity so I know I can flex it out of the hand and then it'll get back to that left edge. Slow poke's a little straighter on me. Oh, that was close. Sit. Okay. <sighs> Am I gonna talk myself into the sidearm? Tasty. <gasps> right, one more chupacabra just to hit the dang gap. That's going in the FPO. Oh, wow, no. Okay. C2 look, feel pretty fortunate because I did not commit to that flex. Stay up. Bang. Let's go, Yellow Rose. A little bit of extra straight carry in that tailwind. Got it done. It took me, it took me 10 minutes to read that. Can everybody, anybody else try to read that? The backwards version. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Follow Connor up. Dropped in some bombs for y'all. Hole 16, par four. Three holes to go. This one's 846 feet. Mandatory here. Not sure really what the mandatory is there for. Um, Cause there's Chandler not... Kramer, sidearm flex. Ah, yeah, true. Yeah. He's right. That's the only line that I really could be doing <laughs> on that side. Um, there's an out of bounds green up here. You can see the first two white flags on this ridge ahead. You gotta clear that by either carrying and, and turning to the right or just getting past it distance wise. I'm liking Wrangler in this tailwind. Hit it flat, let it drift to the right a little bit, maybe flatten out the end. Long drive really makes this one more accessible on the birdie. Money. A little height, a little turn. That's gonna be a great spot there. Can't throw much better than that. I'm gonna try to follow it up with my Pokeball Wrangler. I'm gonna be on the left side. 
You might have that over the water shot. Hopefully, some options. I'm over the green, I think. I don't think I left it short. Yeah, you should be over. It's not bad over there if you're willing to throw that forehand. Once we got over here, the left line really isn't worth it. I don't think anybody's going to be taking the left line. Just going to throw a big spike hyzer over the trees. Oh, that's out. Do something crazy. Pass the tree. That's fine. Gotta trust it, Jake. There's the one. A little wide, but safe. Yep, too wide. Happy medium. I got about 400 in. I'm gonna go Spike Heiser Seguin. I could go intermediate low shot, but I'd rather go high here. Use this tailwind to my advantage. Oh no. Well, the first one that I didn't catch on camera because it died is actually further than that, the same spot. So I'm just gonna take that one. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> oh. C2, down sloping green. Tailwind. Back to back, Let's back to go. back, big ones. On Yellow rose, y'all. Okay. Do mine out of bounds. Ryan, get Jake Starship and give it to me. I'll pay you a hundred dollars. <laughs> not allowed. Not allowed. Really? Dang it! I'm slipping up. Play B. Dang. Freddie would say. Hole 17, 737. In my opinion, best hole in the course. I'm playing it extremely aggressive, trying to go roller, trying to get it as close to the water's edge as possible to leave me as easy of a second shot as possible. Yeah, great hole. When you think Swenson as a competitor and probably as a fan, this one is at the top of the list of the holes that comes to your mind. Can that hold? Oh my gosh, Jake went far enough right too. He's gonna have Heiser over the water. Great angle in. I like the aggression there. I'll try the traditional low flex route with the starship. See if we can give you a different look. Overturned. But still coming fire. out. Come on. All right, that's gonna be a weird spot. Nah, I don't think it's that far. Yeah, Jake had a 366. Yeah. Not too far, definitely in the range where forehand's on the table and it's pretty much what I forced myself into with this lie. I could try to swing it out over the water, but that would rely on quite a bit of lift from the crosswind. So I'm gonna go Warbird, kind of flat at that a little shack on the left side. Give it enough height to fade. Oh no. Well enough height. Inbounds, easy layup. Nice. Take my par. Ended up in a pretty tricky spot. Wish I was just a few, far, few feet farther. I think I'm gonna have to go sidearm. Probably like 300 out. Tough lie for getting so far down the fairway, but Jake does well throwing that chupacabra, trusting it out there. Nice. Yeah, you won't see too many approaches from this area on this hole, so. Take note though, if you like that roller. All right, a little testy here with the wind and the water, but I got a horny toad, trusty disc. Play it flat right at the basket. shot that'll do okay let's be a good birdie to get
Jake's always making me reconsider my game plans, and that roller was tasty. Takes advantage too with a mm -hmm. great putt. Solid birdie. Here, I, I don't worry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, hold on. I mean, yeah, the putt could have been better, but that felt a little, <laughs> a little rude. Jake, good teammate, you know. I got him. Sometimes you gotta have a short memory in a game like golf, otherwise you're just gonna yep. beat yourself up all the time and it's not really worth it, you know? It's always about that game. next shot, yep. next shot, next shot. Be the cliche, <laughs> can be it. Our final hole here, it's a par four. Slight changes from last year. I think the OB line might be the same width. Feels like it's tighter, but they also created a mandatory through the left side here, forcing you right. There was a forehand that Jake and as well as a lot of players were kind of risking out over the OB here last year. That is no longer there, unfortunately, but still a good straight window to rip a fairway driver way up there. There's two big oak trees way in the background. If you can beat the long one of them, you're looking straight at the pin, probably 300 in. I'm going Wrangler here. On oh, the tree. Oh, nice shot, nice shot. Thank you. A little low there, but who knows? I might be far enough to make some kind of a attack at the green. Pokeball Wrangler. Beat it, yeah. Right where you wanna be. Well, from the spot I'm at, you almost have no choice but to lay it up unless you're trying to do the craziest, like, forehand spike shot. But, yeah, instead of chip, chip. Chip, Who chip. Knows? Maybe the second chip will go in. Chip, chip. Chip, chip, give me some dip, boys. Last hole, last shot. You know what I'm throwing. Let's put it close. Don't mind the big giant hole in the ground right here. <laughs> Great reward for the drive. <laughs> that is awkward. So awkward. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, good, good. I just fucked up. You're good. I just messed it up. It's all good. <laughs> I'll throw one with a penny. One day. Thank I'll you. Okay, give me redemption. Thank you. <laughs> a great shot, though, Connor. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> You're good. Why have you not tried my Tour Series penny yet? It flies like this, don't you need it? Laser beans. We ain't talking about attached to shark sets, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Short shot in, let's go whale lord. Try to give it a little spiky dunk chance. And yeah, I also kind of have one of those Swenson signature holes in the way. You gotta get fancy with the feet out here. Oh, that looks good though. High staller. That might be the Drop chip in. chip in. Oh, Ooh, we tried. Tap in to finish. Yeah. Yo, this might be the sturdiest base that we have on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. I hit it earlier. One of my practice rounds the other day and I was waiting for the big thud and it was just so quiet. It was, it was interesting. Oh wait, no, I guess Wrong that's one. My, that's my real play. That was an Instagram reel. Real play. This is the real play with R-E-A-L, you know. Not R-E-E-L. Okay, we're all about the puns here on the Connor O'Reilly YouTube channel and always great to have Jake with us, helping us show some power lines and his great thought process that he has. Hey guys, thanks for checking out Connor's practice round out here at Swinson Park. Gotta thank Connor for inviting me out here and letting me show my insight on the course. And 
how I how I attack it. Come check out the next one, Connor O'Reilly's page. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, let us know in the comments if you liked it and uh, how Jake can be better at throwing far because it's something he needs to do better. Yeah, I need to work on that. Terrible at it. <laughs>